the future of the Little Mars helicopter has been under a cloud of dust for a few months. Its return to flight this week not only shows that it's staying alive, but also how it's going to be doing some new moves on this episode of Mars Guy. It's been three months since Ingenuity's previous flight, the one with the unwanted spacecraft debris, and no, that's not toilet paper. Check out episode 78 for more info. Ingenuity had survived the most brutal part of the Martian winter and was starting to make regular flights again when a regional dust storm clouded the sky. This dust high up in the atmosphere reduced the amount of sunlight hitting its solar rays and also those on the InSight lander thousands of kilometers away. Here's the scene from InSight's context camera before the dust storm, and here's Mars Guy for scale. As the dust moves in overhead, the scene appears to brighten, but it's actually the camera exposure changing as the glare from the sun is obscured. Here's how it looks to the arm-mounted camera. Watch how the seismometer's shadow over the scoop trenches disappears as the skylight becomes more uniform. In the past few weeks, the shadow is returning, signaling the dispersal of atmospheric dust and the fact that InSight also is staying alive. It's notable in this view how dust sticks to vertical surfaces on the arm and its claw, probably because of electrostatic cling in the extremely dry air. This shows that even if the solar panels could be flipped over, as some have suggested, it would not get rid of dust. Also note that some kind of windshield wiper would not work across the uneven surfaces of these panels. Another suggestion. Ingenuity snapped a picture with its nav cam as the dust was starting to clear in mid-October and then three weeks later. As in the inside images, the shadow darkens as the atmospheric dust clears and the skylight dims, turning the sun back into an intense spotlight. Ingenuity's 34th flight of a planned five-flight technology demonstration mission looked a lot like its first, so I'm showing that one. It flew to a height of five meters, two meters more than the first. It hovered briefly, then landed in the same spot after a mere 18 seconds. Even the first flight lasted more than twice that amount of time. But it's what happened in the previous weeks that made the flight significant. Ingenuity got a software update. The modest flight proved that the new software did no harm. Now for the first time, Ingenuity has hazard avoidance capabilities that will let it choose the safest place to land. And it can now use digital elevation maps to avoid veering off course when the terrain gets rough, a problem it experienced with its former flat ground assumption. These new capabilities will come in handy as Perseverance makes its way up into the rugged and rocky terrain of the ancient delta. If the updates work as planned in future test flights, Ingenuity can make some moves that no one ever expected, scouting safe routes and interesting science targets for Perseverance. <laughs>